calculate the value of size of x using giving geometrical reason for your answers. Now this is a figure and these are two lines intersecting at this point and you want to find the value of x. So this angle, this angle if you look at it, is this x plus 2x. So this angle would be 3x and this angle is 54. So I hope you know a rule when two lines intersect the, they are called these two angles are called vertically opposite angles vertically so let me write the reason here so don't have to repeat vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles mm, opposite let me write this properly op vertically opposite angles are equal vertically opposite angles are equal so this is a rule so based on that I can say 3x which is one angle of the vertically opposite angle is equal to 54 so dividing both sides by 3x is 54 divided by 3 okay so I'm going to divide use this without the calculator this is 30 divided by 3 plus 24 divided by 3. So I know 30 divided by 3 is 10 and 24 divided by 3 is 8. So x is 18 degrees. It does make sense. So this is 18 degrees and this is how many? 36 degrees. So 18 and 36 makes 54. Okay, let's look at this question. This is x. These two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel that's what I can see they're parallel lines and if this is x this is sorry if this these two sides are equal these this is a, a triangle so let me say this is triangle ABC we're looking at triangle ABC angle B is x and AB and AC are equal so the base angles are equal in an isosceles triangle. So this is an isosceles triangle, so the base angles are equal. So now you know, should be knowing the rule. These are parallel lines and these angles are called alternate angles. Or they also call the Z angles. So let me write the actual word. This is called alternate angles. Alternate angles in parallel lines. That's very important. In parallel lines are equal are equal now if you want to remember the better there's also they also call this a z angle can you see a a mirror mirror z a reflected z yeah so we can say x is equal to 54 the reason is this because x and fifth this angle and this angle forms alternate angles okay let's look at one more question this is x, this is 42, and this is 110. So what can we do? Again, these are alternate, sorry, parallel lines. So what can we see? So this, okay, so this is 42. Mm, what can we do? So this is, for, this is 100. So what is this angle? This angle is, these two adds up on it. The angles on a straight line. So this is 180 minus 110. Angles on a straight line adds to 180. So 180 degrees minus 110 degrees is 70 degrees. So this angle is 70 degrees. Okay. So what is this angle? Okay. This angle is 180 minus 42 so let's let me do without the calculator so this is 180 minus 40 which is 140 and then I go 140 take away 2 which is 138 degrees so this is 138 degrees does that help so this is 138 degrees this is x okay so how can we do this okay so this is uh, these two, uh, this, so let me draw a line here. 
Okay, so I hope you can see. Let us draw a line here and see what happens. Okay, so this is also parallel to this. So this is also parallel to this. So this, if this is place an alternate angle here, this is 70. So how much is this angle? This angle, can you see a Z angle? So this would also be 70 degree. Okay, and if this is 42, can you see again a Z angle here? Yeah. This would also be 42 degrees. Okay, so there was no need to find 138, so this was enough. So this is 42, so can you see a Z? So let me draw a Z here. Yeah. So let me use a blue color. Can you see a Z here? Yeah. This is one Z. Okay. And the other Z is the reflection of this. So this goes like this. This is the other Z. Okay, so this is, so this X would be, so X would be 70 plus, 70 degree plus 42 degrees, which is 112 degrees.